Now that NVIDIA has released their Pascal drivers for Mac OS, I wanted to throw my 1080 in my Mac Pro to see what kind of performance I can get. I ran some synthetic benchmarks and then some real world benchmarks to get an idea of exactly how it would perform. Looking at synthetic benchmarks here, you can tell that the GTX 1080 is definitely the most powerful system. If you were to have two of them, the Luxmark score would top out the 480s. And in Cinemedge, it really comes down just to driver optimization, losing out to the 2015 iMac for whatever reason. Now looking at real-world benchmarks with applications, you can see how in the applications like Blender that have CUDA support, it is a significant improvement over the 480. But if you look at Bruce X for Final Cut Pro, which is OpenCL optimized, it gets crushed. And in Premiere, there's not much of a difference. I want just to test these drivers out, give them a shot. I was really excited at first when I heard about these NVIDIA drivers finally being released. So I threw this in and I gotta tell you, I am so disappointed. And so it's, it's either I'm disappointed in the performance of this card or this card is just super achieving more than I, I thought it would. And so I set my bar too high with this, but I think it's, I think it's the other way around. This card doesn't set the bar high. This just really disappointed the installation process which is pretty easy actually you just open up the um, installing driver download that it'll ask you to reboot after you reboot open up your system preferences and make sure to change the driver from the default driver to the Nvidia web driver up there now when you go to check it's gonna ask you to restart you're not gonna restart your computer instead you're gonna go and you're gonna open up terminal and you're gonna type in the following prompt and once you're done with that, you're going to press return. And then after pressing return, it's going to ask for your password. You are going to put your password in, and then you're going to reboot again. Now, once that's been done and you turn your computer back on, you'll see that you have your GTX 1080 showing up there. If you do want to boot into Windows on a non-flash DFI card, you just download Boot Champ, and um, that's how that works there.